Hello. Here's something I'm writing for Unity. A quick look at it. It's um, it's basically a modular synth integrated into Unity. Um, it's a node-based graph which uh, routes the signal through to an output in any way you want. Um, totally flexible. It should be generating the audio at runtime. Um, it's good for totally interactive audio uh, and procedural audio, which reflects the game state immediately. Um, a lot more flexible than plain samples. Uh, this graph here is a little synth sound I've knocked up. Um, quick description of the nodes here. They got the output, which every graph needs. Um, filter, low pass filter here. Currently, change whatever mode it's in. Envelope, ADSR envelope. Um, if you're at all familiar with synths, you'll uh, you'll know what these modules are. Um, I'll try and describe them. These are the wave nodes. These two, which are the basics of the waveform. Um, they're both being added together here, sent through the envelope, through a filter to the output. We've got a bit of modulation here with an LFO and these four modules here are convenience modules for wiring up the inputs to the keyboard which you'll see in a minute. That's the frequency which is wired straight up to the frequency of the waves. That's linked to the keyboard. Uh, pitch bend applies a modulation to the frequency. Key gate which is the user pressing and releasing keys that feeds into the control of the envelope here and the mod wheel which is being sent through to the cutoff on the filter. So to give it a little demo here um, I've got this scene of a little keyboard. Let's give it a go. waveform of it, you see it in real time there. Um, and this mod wheel is connected to the graph. That's the frequency of the um, filter cutoff. Okay, so that's the basics. You can obviously make any nodes you like here with um, all the different types we've got effects, filters, generators, the output. Util, lots of utils. Um, it's good for synth sounds so far and general in game sound effects as well. But um, we'll look at those in the future, I think. So that's the end of this quick look. Um, stay tuned.